Hi, Libra here with a reading for the sign of Libra. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Libra in their chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Um, I am going to go right into the reading. It's going to be a more of a free form type of reading, and this is the main deck I'll be using in the reading. All right, let's let's just dig right in, Libra. I just feel like with your energy today, when I'm in your energy for this group of people, um, it's very direct. The energy is very clean. It's it's very, it's just a direct energy. I, I just don't want to mess around. I don't want to spend any extra time um, here. So let's just go ahead and see what's, what this situation is that's around you. And we're looking at the next week or two. So the next immediate energies. There's a lot that's popping off here, and I think you're ready to go. Six of swords, yeah. You've seen the light, Libra. That's what, I mean, that's what's just coming. You've seen the light. Sorry, I just realized that what's happening here. There is a re repositioning, okay? This is a repositioning energy. Um, what do you thought? Okay, this is what just happened to me right now. Um, this is what happened. This is the energy, Libra, and there's no messing around anymore. Okay, I'm going to, I have to get this out. It's time for me. I'll pull still one more card here. Um, <clears throat> what I'm feeling is what you thought you were doing, where you thought you were before is repositioned. It's a repositioning. That's exactly what I went through. There's a repositioning in your life. Um, there's a, there is, you've seen the light on something. You found the answer. Um, something has become clear to you and you're in, you're flowing in a different direction now. Um, it doesn't have to be a huge direction. I mean, when these cards were like this, when I was putting them down, I mean, honestly, they were straight to me. They, they looked to me. I was over here. I was in the wrong position. I wasn't in the wrong position. I was just in a position. <clears throat> I was just in a position that had me looking at the situation from a certain slant. And when I looked at the camera and I saw this, I was like, what is going on? It looks, it, it's like you, You've been able to see something through a different lens, Libra. It's through a different lens or a different position. Um, you found a new position for something, for yourself in the world, for a viewpoint. Um, I think it has to do with something here with the Knight of Pentacles. Let me get the last energy out, and I, I think that um, it'll help us understand. This... I can't. <laughs> I mean, it's the sun. So something wasn't moving. Something wasn't moving in your life. Something that you had been working hard for, it just wasn't moving. It wasn't moving. And um, I think you found that freaking answer. And when I get into this energy, um, with the sun coming in, and this is an energy of frustration, the devil energy, the three of swords, or there was pain here. There was anxiety. There was a need. There was something that stopped in your life. Something wasn't moving forward. Something stopped and it re it's requiring you to look at it a different way from a different perspective or, or do like me and take your chair that you're sitting in, um, and move it so that you can see this situation from a different perspective. Um, something, if you are in a situation where something has stopped and you are being forced to stop, <clears throat> it, 
it's requiring you or it's asking you at this point to look at it from a different perspective and create some plans, create some strategies, create some plans, find, make a decision. Um, this is about strategic planning. It's about finding the, the, the pathway that's least resistant. It's about, okay, now it's time for me to dig into these energies. Let's go into the Six of Swords. Six of Swords energy, please. Tell us more about the Six of Swords. Ten of Wands flipped out. Eight of Cups here. You know, it's about changing something that you're focusing on. The Seven of Pentacles nearly came out, didn't though. Ten of Wands is showing itself. There's something here that you, you I mean, if something is not meant to happen or if it's not meant to happen the way that we're thinking it's going to happen and we keep pushing and we keep working and we work our ourselves to the bone or we um, think ourselves to the bone or we try to make something really happen and it's not moving forward. There's something here for us to realize here with Eight of Cups. There's something here to change. It's going to require some sort of a change in what you've been focusing on and what you've been um, putting your effort into. It's not that you have to give it up what you're doing necessarily, but but changing something that you've been working on because the Ten of Wands came out as well. Um, that tells me that there is a situation here that is overburdensome. I mean, th there's probably some of you here that are really putting so much effort into it that it's really lopsided. Um, for some reason or another, it's coming out. You can't do this by yourself and you can't do it like this. Like it needs to be easier. It needs to be more smooth flowing. Um, it needs to be there needs to be an equal balance. There needs to be an equal sharing of this, of, of the experience, of the work, of the activities. There needs to be more equality in this situation. And so there, there is something here where there's a gaining of a new perspective and, and really changing what you're focusing on, creating some sort of different strategy here with the Six of Swords and walking away from something that has been really, truly exhausting to you or exhaustive to you. And we do have it with the sun here. So um, there's something really powerful, powerfully beautiful coming in for you, Libra, with the sun energy. There's a victory here. There is a new day, a new dawn, a new empowerment, a new answer, a new abundance, new job, new something with the sun. We'll get into the sun here, too. There will be an extended reading, of course, Libra. And as the Ace of Pentacles, as I, um, it's getting better and better, isn't it? As I move forward, I'll really will find the energies that we want to dig deeper into with the extended reading. Ace of Pentacles is coming out. This is, we're clarifying the Six of Swords now. Queen of Pentacles. It's going to take some quiet. When I when I get into the energy, it's, it's, it's a quiet energy. See how the Queen of Pentacles is being very quiet with her energy? See, she's used to working really hard. She's used to working really hard, but look at her now. In nature, in the serenity, walking away from something that you have been putting all of your attention into hard work, your focus. Um, you've been emotionally connected. You've been really wanting this to work. You've been really believing in this for a long time, Libra. And it's, there is something here that is being asked of you or being suggested to you um, to, to find the element of that, to find the quality in that, that really is unhealthy for you. Um, and move away from that quality. I'm not saying that you have to move away from everything, but there needs to be movement in your life now. There needs to be a lightness in your life. The queen of pentacles within you, the worker within you, the responsibility within you, the reliability, the, 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 the drive to bring in a quality of life that will bring in comfort and security for yourself. Um, is this part of you is asking to be to be relieved. It's asking to be given another kind of experience. Um, it looks like there is some sort of new improvement that's coming in for you. That's here for you with the Ace of Pentacles. 
um, maybe a new opportunity that you're connecting into, or maybe one has been, it's the, sword, the six of swords are here. So this has to do with realizations, strategy, um, strategic planning, um, coming up with, with solutions for yourself, um, finding peace in those, coming up with a plan and moving forward um, with, with a settling of the soul. Like you're, you know, this is the route, you know, this is um, where you, where you're really headed and, and what will bring success for you. And you feel it very clearly within the mind. Um, so this is the queen of pentacles within you having clarity. And when the queen of pentacles has clarity, boy, boy, oh boy, she's effective. She can win, right? She is, she is like, she's a little bit like a badger. She's a little bit like a badger. She doesn't let go. She holds on and she doesn't let go. And, and there's this quality in you, Libra, that I see. Uh, and it looks like there is something that is you, you are connecting to, whether it's something that is offered to you or something that you're creating yourself or you're coming up with yourself that is an improvement in your reality, whether it's more money, more rest, a different way of working. enjoying the stability that mother nature provides that the earth provides that's really truly around you doesn't it seem like the queen of pentacles is in a different kind of sphere she's in a different kind of environment now right she's truly grounding with the earth she's truly connecting in she's no longer on the run she's no longer working 60 hours a week She's sitting here in this comfy chair with this beautiful pillow, the scenery around her, enjoying what she has created for herself, connecting in, connecting in with the earth, with the sounds, with the wildness of it, with the beauty and the energy of it. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles, please. Seven of Pentacles that tried to come out earlier. It's something that you're working on. Something that you're investing yourself in now. Something that you're, invest you're investing in yourself. You're investing in your future. You're investing in a business or in a new job. You're getting training. You're training yourself. You're nurturing this. You know it has abundance. You know that it has long-term potential for yourself here see how the seven of pentacles this person is um, has invested into the roots of this has invested into the roots and now this person is nurturing what's growing and there's a little bit of a waiting energy here a little bit of a waiting you know what they always say what do they say i can never get sayings right it's a terrible problem i have a watched pot doesn't boil see i never can say it right it is a terrible problem i have and I wish I didn't have that problem. I can never tell jokes. I never can get this punchline right. So it's it's a terrible problem, but you know what I mean. A watched pot doesn't boil. If you know of other sayings like this, share these kind of sayings because this is the kind of energy that I feel here. But I don't necessarily know if you're actually watching it with this energy. This is not really a watching energy. I think it's an enjoyment energy. Nine of Wands. Not backing away, not backing away. King of Swords, there, there you are, there you are. Not backing away. You might not be saying a whole lot with the King of Swords energy. It is your energy. It's a masculine energy that you're in. So you're making a determination. You're putting the big picture together. You're seeing things for what they really are. If you are saying something, it's it's minimal words. It's it's in kindness, and it's 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 not a a mean energy or a, or any kind of an energy that's um, negative. It's just. If you're saying something, it's just very direct and it's, there's not a lot of emotion in it. There's not a lot of, of, of beating around the bush. It's not vague. It's, it's just very, 
Um, it's like a judge would, would be. I mean, there, there's just, you're not, when you're communicating, you're, you're only communicating what, what, what the necessity of what needs to be said. And you're not backing away from this. You're not backing away. You're, you're not letting anyone else take it from you. You're not giving it up. You're not losing your passion for it while you're waiting and while you're working. Like, you know that this is something that is going to be good for you. That's going to be healthy for you. And you might be a little bit um, wary of it. You might be a little bit defensive of it, um, but you're not backing away. And I think that it could be somewhat mysterious here, here as well for other people that are around you because you're not overly communicative about this. You're not overly communicative. You're not going around telling everyone. You're making decisions. You're looking for important clues for yourself. You're, you are um, trying to move in a positive direction or you are making decisions to move in a positive direction for yourself. And this is your business, right? This is your business. It's no one else's business. And whatever you say is going to be said because there are reasons to say it, not because you need emotional clearance or you need approval or you need people to um, respond to you favorably, favorably like that. No, it's if you're saying something, there is an intention behind the choice to say something. And there is um, carefulness in the words that you say, because there's something here that you're protecting while you're nurturing this. While you're bringing this into some sort of completion, you are protecting it in a way. The King of Swords is a protector, um, just like the Queen of Swords, but the King of Swords protects in a different way, in a quieter, more intense way the King of Swords can protect. It's interesting that we have the feminine energy with the Queen of Pentacles, hardworking, compassionate, keeping yourself healthy, being able to um, perhaps look at something from a logical detailed kind of perspective you could be looking at money from the feminine energy when you're in the queen of pentacles you're looking at the details of this situation you're looking at what really the numbers say what really the evidence says and that evidence those numbers that truth for the Queen of Pentacles, for the feminine, the yin energy, is helping you to, to change your focus, to change your path, to, to take a small detour or to turn your steering wheel just a little bit um, farther to one side and move down a slightly different street than you. You're taking maybe a slightly different route than you thought you were going to take or that you had planned to take. But you're doing this because somehow you have determined it will get you there in a better way. It's better. It's okay. All of a sudden now I'm being shown a map and it's like a little bit of a route change. Um, there's a little bit of a route change here for you. Um, maybe the GPS has shown you a better route. Your internal GPS, the numbers, the mileage, the wear and tear of your automobile, right? There's details here that you have found out that you have determined and the King of Swords is the one who finds a detail. So um, you have two energies within you now that are putting the puzzle together. The Queen of Pentacles puts the puzzle together in a real way, looking at the looking at the, the numbers, looking at the budget, looking at um, the routine and, and the schedule and seeing what your what your day will actually accommodate for you, your time. Um, what can you actually get done in a day and, and what's the best use of your time and what are the numbers saying and what do you really need to be successful in this, right? And the king of swords is like finding the truth in a situation and putting together all the pieces of the puzzle. So you might be researching, you might be making um, making overall decisions about what's right for you, what's right in this situation. You might be trying to think of strategies that create win-win situations for everybody so that no one is really truly hurt, but that everyone sort of wins in a way. Um, whatever it is, you're being quiet about this. You're not really oversharing. Um, and and you, you could be protecting it here with the Knight of Wands. And you're certainly nourishing it. You're growing it. You're working on it. It hasn't come to fruition yet, but it's on its way. It hasn't come to fruition yet, but it's on its way. But there's something here that wasn't happening. It just wasn't happening. 
Uh, maybe at one time it showed indications of promise, um, but it, it wasn't happening and it's requiring some sort of departure from it. Let's look at the sun before we, before we, we go. Wait, I keep that. All right, let's look at the sun now. I need to re see I'm repositioning. It's a repositioning energy. This is so weird. I keep feeling it. Okay, let's look into the sun now. Let's see what this answer is. See, the devil energy is here too. So there's there's something that you have just been struggling against or struggling struggling for. And it could have ultimately taken you, Libra, into like a very unhealthy place or a very um, unbalanced kind of place. It could have been toxic. You have the three of swords here. So it could have been very um, hurtful for you as well. The three of swords is in reverse. It tells me that this situation is is really coming to an end um, in the next couple of weeks or in the next short, immediate period of time. And you have the sun here. So you have like um, something coming in here that's powerfully beautiful for you with the sun. Let's see what we can... It's a Leo energy, I feel. Page of Pentacles. You're seeing signs here of of indications of improvement. The star. There you... I mean, it is an Aquarius energy, but I feel like it's so much you here. Um, the star with the sun. I mean, look at this. It's almost like you're connecting in with the sun. See how this, this string goes up? It's like there's electricity coming from... Um, this star to you, and it's almost like this star is a part of the sun. Um, that is really beautiful. So you're you're connecting in with something truly empowering now, Libra. You're connecting in with your destiny. You're ca connecting in with who you truly are. You, um, it's transparent. It's bright. It is able to focus. It's a it's a clean focus. It's a clean focus on, on what is driving you, what is pulling you, what is feeding you. Um, you're connecting in with something very powerful or very bountiful, a destiny or a life path or a soulmate. Look, and as I said that, we have the Ace of Cups coming out with the Three of Wands, with the Emperor. What the heck? What the heck, Libra? Oh my gosh, it's like this energy is, there are so many beautiful mysteries here that are coming out. We are going to look at um, the sun energy. We're going to, we have the emperor here. We have optimism, anticipation. We have the ace of cups here. This is new love, new inspiration, new healing, new compassion, um, awakening, new love. Something that you feel like it's 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 just feels right. It feels exciting. Um, you can start to see because we did have the page of Pentacles here too. Like you can really start to see it coming together. You're going to, starting to see indication that that is coming together. We have an emperor here as well. This is a masculine um, a, a, a masculine energy that represents someone. It could be an aspect of yourself as well, but it represents someone who is. Um, very much um, a specialist in in, a, in his or her field. This is someone who has been through the trenches of life, been through battles in life. This this person who is someone who has recovered from injury, from scars, from hurts. Um, this person has learned how to in his life to create success. And the way this person creates success is by um, following a system of guidelines, structures. Um, this person is often a supervisor or a manager or has people that work under him or for him. And he has, he, he leans on systems and processes rather than, um, over, over management. He doesn't really like to over manage. He prefers to sit back now because he has, he's tired. He's tired of the daily grind. But if something becomes out of control, or if there is something that is not working for the emperor and there is a crisis or there is something that is off balance, the emperor will get involved, could become controlling, could become very much um, a some, somewhat of a nitpicker um, if, if, the, if the situation isn't moving along to create abundance. If it's not moving along in a successful way, the emperor will indeed get off, off, this, off this chair 
right? Or, or whatever this is, he will get up off this and he will get into action and he will fix the problems. But every, if everything is working right at this point in time, the emperor can enjoy his experience and, and, and it has learned to be in a different space. Um, so whatever this is, whether this is a person here for you, um, whether it is um, a, a new way of being for you, there is new love here. There is a heart center that's just pumping. Uh, there, there is, there are heart works, heart works exploding instead of fireworks. This would be heart works that are just exploding here. There are twinklings of energy around you. Um, I think you are trying to manage this energy. You are trying to manage it. You are trying to work it. But when you have the star over the top of the sun, I mean, this could be an Aquarius energy with a Leo energy. It's just something is truly happening for this group of Libras. And it could be still a little bit in the future. It's almost like we had to uncover this. We had to peel back the layers um, of this situation. I was going to say layers of onion, but this is more like layers. It's like almost, what is it? Taking the peelings off, taking the skin off of a peach. And you bite into the peach and you feel like this inner, like, gloriousness of, of like some type of a fruit, like a tropical fruit or something that bursts flavor into your mouth. But first we have to skin it. First we have to uncover it. So it could be a little bit farther in the future here for you. Um, I think the first thing that's happening for you is, is a redirection of some kind. And, and the first part of the story can, can be somewhat frustrating. Did we ever even get this? Yes, it's a sun. It can be somewhat frustrating. See how these energies are. It's like you have to go through some sort of a, it's, it's like you have to go through like some sort of a, um, what, I, what I'm seeing in my mind is like, you, you almost have to walk through something like a scary cemetery. And while you're walking through it, like it, you don't know it's scary and it's kind of dark. The energy is kind of dark, but once you get through the gate and you get to the other side, it's like, what's there is just like the, the wizard of Oz in the Emerald city. What the heck? These images that are coming through are so interesting. So, so what you're doing is you're cleaning up something here. You're cleaning up something. You're cleaning something up. And as you clean it up and as you find a different strategy or you or you change your position on something, there is there is I mean just something coming in here that's I mean honestly it's like the universe or your spiritual team is keeping you from this, is keeping this from from you until you can fix this situation, until you can move out of this situation, and then boom. I, I just don't know how else to really say this. And then what's here is Ace of Cups. Well, you have the star energy that came out first, the Page of Pentacles, um, indications of, of a stabling in your reality, improvements in possibly finances or um, something, some messages coming forward or indications of some sort of improvement in your real life situation. There's a connection in here with this powerful sun energy through the star. I see that the sun is also shining in on this table, which is interesting. Shining right on this sun. Woo, look at that. It's like it's it's getting brighter and brighter and brighter. Look how this, it's almost like this is all changing. This could all be changing for you in the next couple of weeks. Look how, as I move these cards, um, the... Well, it was working until I realized it. This this hanged man, it's almost like it dumps you out of this it dumps you out of this net and you're able then to swing back on your feet and start moving again. So you become unbound. Right? You become unbound here. There's something that's really changing in the next couple of weeks for you or in the next short immediate period of time. But it does require some sort of <sighs> It's a hangman, seeing it from a different perspective. Changing your position, walking away from something that really hasn't ever 
or it stopped working for you. It, it somehow it stopped working for you. So we are going to move to the extended now. And I'm going to look now that we have a little bit more here. I'm going to look deeper into this Ace of Cups. I'm going to look into the Sun energy. We're going to look at this Emperor that's here. We're looking, going to look at the star energy that's here. And we'll probably take this situation out into the beginning of June for some reason, Libra. And if you know the reason, I'm just feeling this in the air. If you know the reason, it seems like the first part of June is very important for a lot of the signs. So if you know the reason, please put it in the comments because I don't really know that much about about. Um, I think it has to do with like planetary shifts or, or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I just feel like early June is important. So, um, all right, I'm going to move to the extended now. Um, thank you for being here, Libra. It's always a pleasure to read for you. Um, this this is a, a flexing, a, a, a tra a, something is really, this whole thing feels like the Wheel of Fortune card. Like this whole thing, it's it feels like the Wheel of Fortune. Something's moving forward. Something big is happening here. All right. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to read for you, Libra, and I will see you um, back on YouTube in another week or so with another update for the, for the energy of Libra. Thank you.